My name's Kevin Cumming. I'm a trustee of the Langham Initiative, which is a community development trust based in the Scottish Borders. So the Langham Initiative is one of Scotland's oldest community development trusts. Um, it's nearly 25 years old now, and it was originally set up to address the economic decline being seen in Langham as its textile industry started to decline in the 90s. So in 2020, uh, the Langham Initiative took on one of the most ambitious community fundraising ever attempted um, in the UK. We managed to raise £3.8 million pounds to purchase 5,200 acres of uh, the famous Langham Moor. The idea here is that we use this land to show that we can um, have nature as part of our economy here and look towards nature-based tourism as a future for the town. To achieve something like this, we had to look at a number of different sources and one of those was a crowdfunding effort. And one of the things that really gave us um, a heartening moment was the number of local people that put money towards the purchase. And what that gave us was that we're on the right lines, that, that this is something that people want to see. My name is Margaret Poole and I'm chairman of Langham Initiative. The area behind me is, was traditionally known as Langham Moor. For the last 150 odd years, it was run as a grouse moor. Shooters came in the season and shot grouse here. It was very prestigious. However, as the years have gone on, uh, that became less viable. So Langham Initiative decided that they would have a go and repurpose the moor completely. It's been a really exciting journey. The vision that this so-called bleak area could be turned into something very vital to the community has tremendous potential. Hopefully it will bring and anchor younger people here who can uh, engage with others in teaching them about the environment and nature and how important it is to look after the wild areas that we have in this country. Now you'll realise that this is a completely different backdrop. It's the southern end of the area that we currently own. One of the main aims is that we will replant uh, large areas of the uh, river bankings with native trees and that in itself will bring about biodiversity. One of the ideas of the nature project is to uh, restore the peatlands to make them more absorbent to carbon. As far as the world is concerned every country has to do their bit we have to get things back into balance again. Addressing climate change and addressing biodiversity loss um, can often be seen as either, either or, removing people for landscapes um, and accepting nature coming back. But what we're trying to show here is that those things have to work together. And what we're trying to show is that you can have nature recovery, that you can have carbon storage, that you can have um, wildlife diversity, but you can have jobs for people, that you can have an economy based on that. And that doesn't mean that you don't have development, but what it means is that you have development where you put the environment at the foundation of it. So that can be in new housing for people if it's required, but that has to be done in an environmental way, that has to be done with sustainable renewable energy. Um, there's a place for commercial timber in our world, but it has to be done with a balance of native, natural woodlands, um, that we need to have open habitats for, for our species that are, that are being persecuted or are being in decline, that they need an opportunity to, to flourish and thrive as well, to give us the best chance to adapt to the changes we don't know are going to come with the climate change. Um, and that is what is the uh, essence here is, can we demonstrate that? And that's one of the important challenges we'll have in the years to come now that ownership has been achieved.